This video is going to be about ribosomes. So ribosomes are made up of two main components. So we have ribosomal rRNA or rRNA, and then we have proteins. So the rRNA we know from the video on the nucleus is going to come from the nucleolus, and it'll exit through a nuclear pore to get into the cytoplasm, where it will then assemble with uh, the proteins it needs to make a functional ribosome. So in cells that uh, are really active and make lots of proteins, you're going to have a very uh, prominent nucleolus because the nucleolus is producing a huge part of uh, the ribosomal components. So they'll have a very prominent nucleolus and they'll have a lot uh, of ribosomes in their cells. So once you have a fully formed ribosome, it can be in two different spots within the cell. So it can be a free ribosome, so it can be um, floating around in the cytoplasm of the cell, or it can be an attached ribosome, and those ribosomes will attach to either the um, surface of the nuclear envelope or they're attached to the endoplasmic reticulum, which is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So um, you have a rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes on its surface, whereas the smooth one does not. Um, and so once they're in these two different spots, they're kind of specialized to make different kinds of proteins. So for these free uh, ribosomes in the cytoplasm, so they're going to make uh, kind of cytoplasmic proteins, so things that are going to stay in the uh, cytoplasm. But then the ribosomes that are on the surface of uh, the rough ER or on the nuclear envelope, they're going to make proteins that are going to be, um, they're going to be embedded in the membrane or they're going to be packaged into uh, another organelle or they're going to be uh, put into a vesicle to be secreted from the cell. membrane bound. So they make uh, different kinds of proteins depending on where they are in the cell. So also something important to remember is that the ribosome is not an organelle because it has no membrane. So the definition of an organelle is going to be something that's membrane bound. So in eukaryotic cells, that'll be things like your nucleus, the uh, Golgi body, the uh, endoplasmic reticulum, both rough and smooth. But the ribosome, since it doesn't have a membrane, it's not membrane bound, that means it's actually not an organelle. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. Thank you.